Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ari Tuckman. I'm a psychologist, author, and ADHD expert, and I'm doing yet another video for Attitude Magazine, a resource for folks with ADHD. Now you can find this video as well as other videos and all sorts of other resources at attitudemag.com. So the question we're talking about today is, how do you know if you're taking too much ADHD medication? Uh, it's a good question. You know, generally speaking, um, the more medication you take, the better it works. Um, lower doses tend to not work as well. So as you increase the dose, as with most medications, you increase the benefit. However, you know, there is a point where more is no longer better, where you're starting to get side effects from being on too much medication. So some things that you might look for in terms of being on too much medication would be, first of all, feeling kind of anxious, jittery, um, kind of racing heart, pounding heart, uh, shaky hands, dry mouth, you know, those all those sort of anxious kind of symptoms. So, um, you know, that might be something that indicates you're on too high a dose, or perhaps you've gone up in dose too quickly that if you had, you know, taken a little bit more time building up, you might have, you know, you might tolerate this dose a little bit better. <clears throat> the other sort of potential side effect that people experience on too much medication is feeling kind of flat, feeling over-focused, kind of the zing is out of their personality, not really spontaneous anymore. Um, you know, those sort of symptoms. That probably doesn't go away as much with time as, you know, the anxious kind of side effects might. So, you know, in those cases, generally one backs down the dose of the medication so that you get a better balance between the good effects that you're looking for and the side effects that you're, of course, hoping to minimize. So, you know, with these medications, as with most medications, as with, I suppose, many other things in life, it's a balancing act between what you want and what you don't want. In a worst case scenario, it may be that just the particular medication doesn't fit for you. And it may be that one of the other medications might work a little bit better, kind of give you a better balance between what you want and what you don't want. So, you know, sometimes you need to try multiple doses or even try multiple medications before you really sort of hit the bullseye. So I encourage you to sort of stick with it and, um, you know, find what works best for you or your family member. Once again, this is a video for Attitude Magazine, and you can find this and other good stuff at attitudemag.com. Have a good one.